This class does not run like other classes you've taken at Wesleyan. That means I need to give you a little bit of a sense of how it works differently. The biggest thing to know is we don't use Moodle in this course. Instead, we use WordPress as the way to manage all of the things you're going to be listening to and reading and doing this semester. Here is our course website. If you can't find it, just Google Integrative Learning Project and Wesleyan and you'll get right here. When you get to our course website, just click on Explore the Courses. And depending on what semester you're looking at this website, you'll see different things here. But this is where you can get a sense of the different courses that are available to you in a given semester and what kinds of content you'll be covering. If I click on um, See More, what you'll see here is the courses divided up into modules. These are the different weeks of the course, and there's different videos that you can preview. But you'll see as you scroll down that there's a lot of stuff that um, seems to be grayed out that you can't click on and that's because if you're enrolled in this course you need to log into WordPress to see it and here's how you log into this website and into WordPress you can click on account login right here or if you were back on the home page you would just click on login when you get to the login page you should log in with the username and password that I gave you not your regular Wesley ones in my case I'm gonna log in with a test Gmail email that I have and the password I made for myself. I would recommend clicking Remember Me. That should make it so that you don't have to log in every time you visit this page. Once you're in, you can click on Courses, and you'll see whatever courses you're enrolled in, and you'll see that now things that were grayed out are no longer so. Um, another way to get to this is if you click on Courses, or if you're on the main page and you click on explore the courses here, in all of these cases, it will get you to the course that you're enrolled in and everything should now have a hyperlink. And essentially what you can do is you can watch each video, take each quiz or submit whatever it is you need to submit. And as you go through the course, these things will check off for you. So it's a nice handy way for you to keep track of where you are in the course and what's happening next. When you're logged into the course website, there are a few other things that you can access that people who aren't logged in cannot access. So let's take a short look at these. First, in the right hand sidebar, notice that there is a link for Google Share Drives. We will be using a Google Drive throughout this course to share various materials with one another. And depending on what course you're in in a given semester, you'll just click on the appropriate button and that will be a nice easy way for you to access the Google Drive for this course. Also, you will see that there will be links for class summaries. Right now, these are empty. There's nothing in them. But throughout the semester, you will be able to click on these and find um, a quick summary of each class session if you miss something, as well as links to short video clips, um, usually of me talking during a course session so that you're never behind if you have to miss a class. There are also things that you can access through the course website that you don't need to log in for, and these are also really important, so I want to point them out to you now. First, when you're on the course page and you can see your right-hand sidebar, note that there's a link where you can go to make an appointment. This is a really easy way for you just to insert yourself in my calendar without having to ask me for permission. Just go ahead and do it. Anything that's available to sign up for is a time that I am free. Also notice that there's the link for Zoom office hours. So if you choose to do a Zoom office hour and you lose the email that gives you the confirmation with the link, you can just find it here. West Creates is where you'll be making your own WordPress site this semester, and here's the link for that. And then you'll see that depending on what course you're enrolled in, there are some other really handy tools. The biggest one to point out is that I always have a link to the complete syllabus, which is a much more extensive version of the syllabus in a Google Doc that you can look Look at, print, and use to check off things as you go if that helps you at all. So like I said, my course operates pretty differently than other courses at Wesleyan. So make sure you watch this video more than once so you get a sense of where things are so that you never get lost in this course.